I was teaching a Bible study at a church where I led the ministry to women. And I taught a Bible class for six years, and it was thriving. It was going great. And then I was blindsided when a woman who taught another Bible study in the same church attacked me verbally. She actually attempted to destroy my reputation and shut down the study and tried to have me thrown out of the church as a false teacher. It was over a doctrinal issue that scholars agree to disagree on today, what we would call a gray issue. But that experience, as hard as it was, taught me the necessity of skilled peacemaking. And that's the focus of our lesson this week. Whatever you do, wherever you serve, if you work alongside people in your family, there will be conflict. Conflict on the job, in the church, with friends, it's just part of life. I wasn't prepared for that assault, but when it was over, I set out to learn all I could. I even partnered with a friend to write a book on the topic to help others. We researched ways that men and women approach conflict differently. We identified traits of women to watch out for, and we focused on how do we become biblical peacemakers. We looked at four different kinds of women in the Proverbs to help us understand different ways that people do conflict, and we'll even study that and look at that more carefully in the Proverbs study. We interviewed women who had walked through all different kinds of conflict and learned from their courage and from their mistakes. And by the way, I made plenty of mistakes. Peter emphasizes how important it is that we learn to live in harmony with other people. He tells us, seek peace and pursue it. And this lesson is designed to get you serious about honing your peacemaking skills. I want to encourage you to be honest as you work through this lesson. Ask the Lord to help you. Work on the case study at the end and try to figure out what went wrong, what actions and attitudes might have helped it go better, and how it might be similar to the kinds of things that you see in your own life. I don't regret that conflict. I learned so much. I learned I was stronger than I realized. I learned that God will show up in our conflicts and He will help us. I learned that conflict can actually glorify Him if we know what to do. My relationships are healthier. My God confidence is stronger. I actually learned to say that conflict can be a good thing. And as you work through this lesson, I want to encourage you to become a biblical peacemaker.